Recently I found myself in need of filtering out some paths when grabbing all the files using the file facade. Those paths that need to be excluded can be specific files or specific directories, so we need to support both. To save us from repeating the filtering logic everywhere, we can set up a macro. Laravel macros allow us to add custom functionality to existing Laravel components, in our case the file facade. We can register a macro inside the app service provider under the booth method. So we'll do file, grab the facade, macro, and we'll have to enter the macro name, which is essentially the name of the method. Let's go with all files except, and we'll pass in a function that will receive the paths where we need to look for files and a list of exceptions. Now let's go back to our test file and start writing tests to cover all the required cases. So the first case is get all files from directories except one file. And here we need to call our new method. So we'll have file, grab the facade, all files except, and we need to pass in the path, which will be base path, tests, and the exception. And what we need to do now is to make sure our files collection contains all the files inside the file macros directory, except the one txt1. And to do that, we can do this, assert false, and then we need to grab the files, map them, and grab the path name. So this will return us a collection of the file's path names. And then we need to check if it contains our exception. Let's run the test, of course it should fail. And now let's make it pass. I'll go in the app service provider and basically access or return this, and this is an instance of the file. And we can do all files, which will return an array. So we need to wrap this inside a collection. So we'll do collection make all files and then we need to filter the files based on the exception we passed in. So we'll do function file use the exceptions and then we need to make sure that the file path name is not equal with the exception we passed in. So we need to do return file get path name not equals with the exceptions. And of course here inside the all files, we need to pass in the paths. And now if we run the test again, it passes. Okay, let's go and see the other one. So we need to get all files from directories except multiple files. This means that we'll have a list of exceptions. So we'll add an array. And let's say base path. And let's call the method. All files except these exceptions. And we should make sure that the returning result does not include them. So we'll do contains exceptions zero. So this is the first file and this is the second file. Let's run the test and it should fail, which it does. And now let's make it pass. Since now we're dealing with multiple exceptions, we can turn this into a collection. So we'll do collection make exceptions. And instead of checking one exception, we'll have to check the whole collection now. So we'll do return exceptions contains. And here we'll need to pass in the path name. So we'll grab this 
pass it here and remove this. And of course, this must be negative. So we are filtering all the files based on whether or not the exceptions contain the file get path name. If I run our test again, oops, sorry. Run this again and they both pass. Let's go to our third case, which is get all files from directories except one directory. So we are now dealing with directories instead of just files. Okay, so let's grab this from here. And we'll have base path, tests, fixtures, And basically we need to have all the files except the 2.txt file. Let's run this test and it fails. Let's make it pass. Now that we are dealing with directories, we can no longer check the entire file path we need to check whether or not the file path starts with the exception. In this way, we will also allow for directories to be excluded. So we use the same contains, but we'll pass in a function with the exception. And here, what we need to do is to check whether or not the path starts with the exception. Let's add use file. And here we'll use a PHP function called strpos. And what this does is basically finds the position of the first occurrence of the string we pass in. So this is our haystack and this is our string. And we need to make sure that the position is zero. So what this does, it checks whether or not this string starts with this string. And now if we run our test, it passes. Let's run all of our tests and they all pass. Finally, we need to get all the files from directories except multiple directories. So let's do Grab this test instead of a single one, we'll pass in exceptions. A and B. And here we can do two tick CT and three tick CT. Let's run this test. And what do you know? It already works, so that's great because we no longer need to write any code. Let's run all the suit and all the tests pass. Let's make this a bit more clear by putting this inside the files variable. And that's Pretty much it, we grab all the files and then we filter them based on our exceptions. And now we can satisfy all these cases. Get all the files except one file. Get all the files except multiple files. Get all the files except one directory. And get all the files except multiple directories. And that's it. That's how you can get all the files inside the directory, except some specific paths you don't need. Bye.